You all know I love a good budget paddle. And so today we're going to be talking about the latest offering from New Pipo. Let's get into it. New Pipo's latest paddle in their pro lineup is the Quake. It retails for $79.99 on their website. But right now, if you're an Amazon Prime member, you can pick this paddle up for $48 dollars less than fifty dollars for a 3k carbon fiber paddle that is an amazing price no matter how you look at it so new people sent me this paddle to review i'm very grateful for them supporting a small creator like me let's get into the details of this paddle so the quake has a 3k carbon fiber surface it's got this diagonal weave on it that helps increase grit on the paddle and friction, which is going to give you more control over the ball because you're going to have a longer contact time. It's got a 16 millimeter polypropylene honeycomb core, just like pretty much any other Gen 1.5 paddle out there. In addition to the 3K carbon fiber, they've also um, put a spray grit on it. So that adds to the grittiness on it. When my son and I were hitting this around, we did find that it was quite grippy and we could get quite a bit of spin off the balls. It does have this nice artificial leather grip. The handle itself is a little square, but the grip itself, the overgrip, the lap, if you will, is quite nice. They've got a branded end cap. And those are all nice things to see. It's also got a fairly narrow taper here in the neck. So you could wrap it a little bit higher and get, um, get two, -handed, two hands on this for a backhand or forehand. Of course, it's USA Pickleball approved. A lot of new people's paddles are, even though they're what you would consider, you know, a budget or Amazon brand. It's also got this nice edge protector around it. Not edgeless, but not many paddles out there are edgeless these days. This is kind of a standard way to build a pickleball paddle. They've got the edge guard on there that's going to protect the edge of your paddle when it hits the ground or someone else's paddle. Okay, so let's get into how this played. So first off, the one thing that I noticed is it is a little head heavy. Again. I like to generally overwrap my paddles. I think if I overwrap this, it would help balance out the paddle a little bit better. But because it's head heavy, it does give you some plow through. Overall, I'm going to say this is a control paddle. The power in this paddle doesn't necessarily come from the paddle itself, the face or uh, the core. It comes from the fact that it's head heavy. And everybody knows that when you have a head heavy paddle, that's going to plow through the ball a little bit more and help you on your drives. Resetting felt okay. At the kitchen line, it felt okay. Remember, we're talking about a paddle that you can get for under $50. So rating this against a $150, $200 paddle, you know, there, there's just really not many paddles in this category. I haven't tried out a Friday paddle yet. I hear that they're pretty good, but I think that this probably compares best to the Friday paddles. And the one benefit that it's going to have over those Friday paddles um, is just the fact that you've got a raw carbon fiber surface, which tends to be more durable than those painted surfaces that you see on the Friday paddles. My surfs felt good. I was able to generate the top spin that I was looking for off of this paddle. Again, at the kitchen line, I'm able to get those backspin uh, dinks as well. And I was also able to flip the ball up from under the net and keep it in the court. You know, a lot of times you try flipping that ball up, at least for me anyway, and it goes deep and long or it gets smashed back down in your face. Um, but overall, I think this is a good paddle. I mean, for the price, for 50 bucks, you're not going to find many paddles that are going to outperform this one. So if you're looking to step up 
from that 19 or $20 paddle. Maybe you bought a new Peepo set off of Amazon. I've reviewed a number of them here on my channel. Maybe you bought a new Peepo set and you're ready to move up, but you just don't want to pull that trigger on a $100 paddle, $150 paddle. The Quake is the paddle for you. I highly recommend it for advanced beginners or people who are just moving in to maybe looking to play in a, in a beginner league or something like that. So that's the Quake from New Peepo. Thanks again to them for sending this to me and look for my next paddle review next week. Bye. Nice drive. I've been working on that because I drop so much so often. And a lot of the times if I'm playing with somebody who can't get up fast, I'm here, I hit a perfect drop to that corner, and, they, and then they caroon my team. Yeah. So.